If you've never worked with rigid plastic pipe used for home plumbing systems, choosing the correct glue for your application can be a little confusing. The terms for gluing plastic pipe together is solvent cementing or solvent welding. In the United States, three kinds of plastic pipes are commonly used in home plumbing systems. Before choosing a cement or primer, identify the plastic pipe that you are planning to join together. For drain, waste, and vent, you'll find PVC or ABS. And for hot and cold water supply, CPVC. The kind and size of pipe are printed on the pipe. After the kind of pipe has been identified, the correct cement and primer can be selected. I'm going to show generally accepted guidelines. Your local building and plumbing codes could vary, so I encourage you to look them up and follow them. Here is a chart from Charlotte Pipe that you can use to determine the correct cement for your application. Notice that you do not use a primer for ABS pipe and that CTS, that stands for copper tubing size, CPVC, primer is optional. The purpose of the purple primer is to allow an inspector to visually see that primer was used on the joint. If you carefully read the labels on the cement and primer cans, you'll be able to match the information from the chart and get the correct product. Checking a plumbing code is not as difficult as it initially sounds. Contact the authority having jurisdiction and find out what codes apply to you. It's likely that you can find your code online in PDF format, download it into Adobe Acrobat Reader, and then use the search feature to find keywords. I've loaded 2009 International Plumbing Code and searched for Purple Primer. Section 605, Materials, Joints, and Connections, says that I need to use purple primer. It tells me what kind of cement to use and that I need to make the joint in accordance with ASTM D2855. I do have a video called Cut and Glue PVC Pipe Beginner's Guide. If you click on the channel name Know How Now at the end of video, you can find it. Hopefully this video will help you make good glue joints that don't fail and that follow your local codes. A thumbs up is always appreciated and thanks for watching.